Prostate biopsy is a very anxiety provoking procedure. Men are very feared about one specific question. Do I have prostate cancer? The 4K score allows urologists to do two things. One is to be much more selective about who they biopsy. The second thing the 4K score allows you to do is to have an informed decision with the patient about their risk of cancer. The 4K score gives you a percentage risk of cancer and you can then have a rational conversation with the patient about their preferences and what they want to do next. One of the biggest problems with PSA is a lack of specificity. Most men with a high PSA do not actually have prostate cancer. So urologists in practice have to biopsy many men to find a relatively limited number who have the sort of high-grade disease that we're really worried about. We, as a country, do about a million biopsies a year. Only 250,000 of those are positives. I think we should develop new tools to improve the diagnostic accuracy of testing to be able to find prostate cancers that are potentially lethal and avoid biopsying men who have cancers that pose no threat to their life and health. What we want to do with the 4K score test is give confidence back to both the urologists and the patients that they're not going to be overdiagnosed, they're not going to be overtreated. When they showed me that this tool could be used to markedly reduce the need for biopsy, without missing very many high-grade cancers, I realized that this is something that could lower the harms of screening for prostate cancer and improve the benefits. The development of the Calcran markers is really based on an extension and continuation and research that spans several decades. It started out when I was at Lund University in Malmö in Sweden. We started to search for regulators of PSA activity in the extracellular fluids. From that came the discovery that PSA was bound to the alpha-1 antikamitrypsin and the discovery of the free PSA. Through that came then the recognition that HK2 had antibody regions that reacted identically between PSA and HK2, but also regions that discriminated HK2 uniquely from PSA. When we first started looking at the different markers that make up the 4K score, we had this obvious problem. There are four of them. It's too much information for them to deal with. You actually have to convert it into something that's a, a little easier. We use an approach called logistic regression. You can think of it just as a formula. On the left-hand side, you have risk of cancer, and on the right-hand side, you have what's called a coefficient, something like four, two, one and a half, minus three, and then multiplied by the level of the particular marker. And each of those four different markers has a different coefficient. And you just multiply the coefficient by the level of the marker, add all those up, and you have your risk of high-grade cancer on biopsy. The 4K score test was extensively validated in 26 urology centers across the United States. We've collected over 1,200 patients as part of that clinical study and have shown conclusively that the 4K score test is a highly accurate way to predict what will be the outcome of a biopsy. And it works great. In fact, it works better in routine practice than it did in our research setting. That suggests to me it would help American urologists make better decisions for their patients.